Hello there Taurus, I'm Michelle B and I did a big monthly reading for you that I posted over on Vimeo. It's about 27, 28 minutes long. It's a nice, good, hearty, long reading. And what I, what I found, I'm going to go over with you real quick. But if you want to check out the whole big reading, the link is in the description box below. It's a link over to Vimeo. But real quick, I want to get started on telling you what I found out in April. Taurus is all about coming coming to a place where you're like abundance can be easy. Everything that I desire doesn't have to be eat, doesn't have to be difficult. It can flow to me with ease. And it's about reprogramming your mind from thinking everything's got to be hard to everything's going to be easy. What came up I got these two cards that came up in reverse, but I'm going to show them to you in the upright position. We got the, the devil that came up for what to leave behind. I like to start out with what to embrace and what to leave behind for the month ahead. It informs the rest of the reading, the vibration of the rest of the reading. So what you're leaving behind is the mindset that you are, a, like it's, a, it's an obsession with making things happen your way right? So you're leaving that behind. This idea that I can't have what I want because it's too hard. Or if I do want something, I've got to work really, really hard for it. And I have to sacrifice all these other things in my life. I can't have both. I can't have it all. You're rethinking that, right? You're like, mm, that hasn't been working. So what, what you need to embrace is the fact that what what the cards want to embrace the fact the fact to embrace the fact that what has been happening what you've been doing so far hasn't been working you've made little to no progress on so far on the efforts like this push 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 energy that you put in in the, in the past and so in april you're like oh, that's not working i have like surrender oh, oh, what a beautiful word surrender and Taurus, I know how you love to sit back and ease and just let the abundance flow to you. That's who you are. That's what you're on the planet to do, is to relax and bring in the beauty and the abundance, right? So you're coming to terms with that. Um, it's, it's really all about the narrative that our culture has been sticking with for, for a long time. It's like that, that puritanical um, storyline that was fed to us in order to keep us working in factories and to, to keep working on the, the landlord's property in order to keep working in the factories. It's like, you gotta put in eight to 10 hour days and work really, really hard and maybe you'll have a chance of stepping up. That's a narrative that was fed to us in order to use us up, right? You're like coming to terms with that and be like, yeah, I'm too smart for that now. I'm not falling for that. There are times when I wanna work hard, but it's on the things that are important to me, right? I'm not gonna work hard on things that are not important to other, that, that are not important to me, that are really only benefiting other people. And so from there I pivot in the, in the, in the reading to looking at what I call the triad of awesomeness, which is your purpose in the world, your prosperity and abundance, and your love life. And starting out with the, with the purpose that is what you do that benefits other people, but it lights you up and it makes you feel really good. It's what you're really good at that makes you feel awesome. Now, if you're not good at it yet, you're excited about learning more about it. What came up was the two of wands. Let me look at my notes here real quick. Making decisions about how to go forward, all about what is easiest for you. So you're like, oh, okay, so what should I do, this or that? I'm not sure about how to go forward because my old strategy just wasn't working. And so you're like, exhausted. I surrender. What do I do? Right? <laughs> That's what he's, he's like looking at the world. He's, he's like, looking at what he wants, looking at the world and being like, how do I do this? How do I go forward? How do I create what I want? Economic prosperity, intimate relationships, beauty, um, feeling like I'm doing good for other people. How do I create this for myself? And the message that came out, because because I, I spread out a few more cards on the subject, the message that came out clear was you've got to stick with what is easiest for you and not what works best for other people not what you've been told all along is the right way the right way to do things so moving on over to our uh, uh, taurus's uh, abundance and prosperity that's the stuff right the 
the resources, the money, the, the, the home life, like the physical, the things that you're creating, right? And the, and the, the physical sensuality. <laughs> I live right by a road. <clears throat> like the tangible things that make your life really, really nice, the quality of your life really, really good. What are the messages that came out for that? We got the Page of Pentacles in the archetypal personalities of the tarot. The Page of Pentacles is the Taurus. And so you are coming back to yourself after trying to trying for so long to be somebody else and it didn't work, obsessively pounding your head against the ideas of other that other people have been feeding to you. You're coming back to yourself and being like, okay, well, how do I do this then? If what I was doing before wasn't working, what is the right path forward? You're learning new things. You're learning new ways of thinking in order to have a foundation that works. So that's, that's what the, the, the page of pentacles is vulnerable and willing to learn, willing to be the apprentice, willing to be the person that doesn't know anything so that they can restart their, uh, a blank slate. It's like, if what I was doing wasn't working before, then scrap the whole thing. Tell me what it is. What is easiest for you? And reprogramming, doing everything you can to reprogram those narratives that have been ingrained in you. Ingrained in our whole culture's story for generations and generations. It's time to restart, okay? I pull a few more cards. I look, in, I look further in depth. In that long in that longer Vimeo discussion but the overview the, the quick energetic you know the pulse on the energy is all about getting back to who you are and what makes you feel good okay so moving on to your love life I realized that there are a bunch of different scenarios that Taurus is going to be in with their love life. There are some of you that are in committed relationships. There are some of you that are not in a committed re relationship but would like to be in one and you're like, how do I work toward that? And there are some of you who are perfectly happy being single and loving it, whether you're seeing, it, where you, whether you're seeing people or not, but you're like, essentially your energy, your vibration is single. It can, your relationship status can be anywhere on the spectrum, but those are the three scenarios that I like to look at when I'm pulling the cards. And so I go in depth and pull cards for each of those scenarios, but you have, there's something you can learn from each of those in the extended reading, but the overall energy for the love lives and the self nurturing of loving yourself and loving others, right? Receiving love from yourself and receiving love from others. We got these two cards, the Four of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. The Both of the energies are all about kicking back, not working hard. You see how that, that guy in the Seven of Pentacles is hardly working? <laughs> he's just looking, he's watching the seeds that he's planted, the crops that he's been tending, He's watching them grow. He's like, okay, I did all the work that I could have done already. And now I'm just watching it grow. And really it's more about tending yourself than it is about tending other people. When you tend yourself, you take good care of yourself, you attract the people that are meant to be in your life, that you attract the people that love you for who you really are. They will love your earthy, sensual nature they will love your beauty. They will love how relaxed you are and they'll want to be around you. And then uh, with that four of swords, it's all about taking a break, taking a rest and enjoying your connections. What did I write in my notes? I wrote taking a step back to care for yourself and allowing others to come to you and watching your efforts pay off. What do you think? Doesn't that make you want to go over there and check out that Vimeo reading? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, the link is in the description box below, but I can see a really good month for you ahead. Taurus, thank you so much for being with me. I will see you soon. And then May, I'll be doing your birthday reading. So I love you. See ya.